And today is Patriots Day in Boston, an area holiday that includes the running of the Boston Marathon. It is perhaps the most iconic and most celebrated stretch of 26.2 miles in the sport. And this year, there's an even bigger focus on the race. 10 years after the bombing near the finish line that killed three people and wounded hundreds. NBC's Jay Gray introduces us to a runner who was there and is back to run for the first time since the attack. Boston's a long way and a lot different than Terre Haute, Indiana. But there is a connection. I will always be attached to the Boston Marathon. Major Wells started running when she was a teenager in Terre Haute. Running has always been a safe place. It's the connection that you make with people while you're running and the friendships that you build and the community around the actual the activity of running. Her activity, marathons, and like most everyone who commits to running 26.2 miles, the ultimate finish line is Boston. It was all about the Boston Marathon. She qualified in 2003, then set a goal to return every 10 years. Back in 2013, she finished the marathon in three hours and 59 minutes just seven minutes before the blasts on Boylston Street. This is really hard. A decade later, memories bring with them the emotions of that day, heartache, uncertainty, fear, that gripped Majel for weeks after the attack. I thought, I may never run again. But eventually she did lace up her running shoes again. When something very dramatic happens in your life, you just become very aware of what you're capable of. You either show up or you back down, you know? And so I really started to just show up. Pushing herself to a new level of competition as an ultra marathoner and keeping the promise she made to go back to Boston. Just because something bad happened, does it mean that um, we're gonna let them take that away from us? This is our, these are our dreams. These are our passions. Fulfilled by putting one foot in front of the other and continuing to move forward 10 years later. Jay Gray, NBC News.